when did you first learn that Billy Joel was joining the cast? <laughs> For people that haven't seen the episodes, Billy Joel is a, a big part of season two. He's trying to take over uh, and lead the boys after uh, Billy Butcher uh, absence. Uh. <laughs> he actually replaced Carl Urban, you know, with... Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like they do on the soap opera. <laughs> just, just switched it with Billy Joel. Yeah. But, uh, listen, um, I loved the first season. I've loved what I've seen of season two thus far. One of the things that is a constant in every episode is a what the fuck moment. Something that <laughs> completely comes out of left field. What is it like for you guys reading these scripts? Or is Eric telling you, yeah, you won't believe what's going to happen in episode three? It's funny because... When Eric pitches uh, us, you know, what's going to happen in the next couple episodes, he doesn't really, he always says, we're not trying to go bigger for bigger sake, you know? Um, and then once we read the episode, we're like, Eric, <laughs> this is huge. Like, it's not even big. It's just huge. Look at the whale. How are you going to do that? Um, and it's always so funny to see all of the, uh, is it called mood boards in the, um, conference room where everyone's talking about like, okay, how can we make this look as realistic as possible? And I think the whale is even anatomically correct. I mean, the heart is pumping in the, <laughs> um, like literally pumping in, um, one of the scenes. So yeah, no, I, I forgot what the question was, but it's, it's great. <laughs> It's basically, it's basically going like, uh, how are we going to do that? And yeah. you're reading that and you're going, no, 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 yes, no, really? And then we get to meet on set and we do these crazy things and we can't believe that it's actually happening. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. It is. Yeah, and it's fantastic to watch as an audience member because I am not being covered with blood in a crazy amount of blood. Um, what is it actually like? Because uh, from what I've heard... <laughs> I just had the greatest idea. <laughs> what if we... <laughs> what if we uh, created like a 4D space where um, everyone's watching the boys in the audience and because it's 40, it's like a ride, but then like, instead of, you know, water rides, it's like blood rides and they just get sprayed with blood. That'd be great. Sorry, I, it's the end of the day. I have great <laughs> ideas when I'm delirious. You know what's funny? I'll bet you there's people who would actually do something like that. I think the theater- I love that idea. I would go for it. It's yeah, amazing idea, Karen. We, yeah. Should pitch, we should pitch it. We should pitch it. Well, I think there's, movie. Yeah, there's at least a few people from Amazon watching. I was going to say, just cover the theater in plastic and just be able to hose it down. Exactly. Exactly. You know, yeah. but I, I, actually being serious for a second, the thing that I've noticed in season two is that, and speaking to the other actors, that it wasn't like wearing blood for like a few hours. It was, oh, you guys, no. you know, it was days and there was mm -hmm. just a lot to it. What is it sort of, can you talk about what it's like actually acting covered like that or it must it must hit affect you i can still remember the days we were covered in blood seeing the seven coming into set so clean <laughs> and get, looking like they're coming in from a spa and we we're feeling like you know dirty and sticky and and and, and it kind of we kind of looked at each other and went like those douchebags it just enhanced <laughs> the whole experience of of filming uh, uh this season uh I think for all of us being covered in blood <laughs> practically 14, 15 hours a day. Uh, you know, my mother calling me saying, send me some pictures. <laughs> uh, I, you know, it was, it was, it was uh, quite an experience, but you get used to it, right, Karen? I mean, you, you kind so of get used to it. I would have to say, so I was looking through, um, my photo library last night because I wanted to kind of spark some memories and uh, like refresh my brain about what we went through. And I've got to say, I think all of my photos with you guys have been bloody. There's practice. There's basically no, like not one photo where none of us have blood on ourselves. <laughs> so that's saying something. It's not just like a couple days either. It's uh, I think it, 
almost felt like the entire season was uh, covered in blood. <laughs> yeah, I, I sort of feel like maybe you guys made your own Evil Dead movie. It's just called The Boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? Well said. Um, you know, one of the things that I found interesting was in season two, you had a longer shooting schedule. Uh, like you, you had a few extra days on every episode to, to shoot. Um, could you sort of talk about maybe the added time you had and what that was able to bring to season two versus season one? We had added time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eric, Eric said you had- gave us some time. time to bring the whale. Bring the whale. <laughs> <laughs> to the ocean. Um, well, Eric said that- No, would... I think, I think, I think, I mean, I mean, you know, definitely a bigger, uh, I felt it. Um, in terms of uh, sets and extras and, and, and just, you know, I guess it's not just us that are, uh, you know, um, um, having fun. The writers are just, you know, I mean, they're amazing. And, and I guess they had uh, uh, more of a free hand, you know, to go with whatever uh, they wanted, obviously, <laughs> because we get the most bizarre, unbelievably large scale events going in season two. Uh, but in the end of the day for us as actors, and I think the magic of the show, um, uh, the core of it is uh, the relationships. And uh, the, 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 the fact that besides um, that's right. A lot of blood, a lot of action scenes, a lot of uh, uh, whales and others. Um, each and every character in this show gets uh, the most um, round and uh, filled uh, world that they can, uh, as actors, play in. And that's, uh, that's you know, combines this uh, very uh, conflicted combined relationships. That is in the end. In the end, for me, this this is like the most interesting thing as an audience. If you don't care about the characters, it's um, you don't care about any. You won't care about the action. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm, I already have to wrap. Good luck with the rest of the interviews and your speed dating. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so Thank much. You.